Sports. Welcome back to Channel 4, my voice stream here. Here we are on Monday, 16th of September, 2024. Monday mods, and yeah, we got a banger selection of mods that's dropped today. But before we get into that, we'll be looking at some updates, and then, yep, yeah, we'll go into new mods. But as always, if you're not familiar, time starts to be down below for every individual mod, so if there's one in particular to look at, then skip ahead to that. But without further ado, let's get cracking on. So for our first update, we got the Windmill by Velort update 1.4 and Changelog is new textures has been added. Update 1.0.0.1 for the old barn by Hell River and Changelog is added bought with Farmland and the mod description version has been increased. A fairly new recent mod, the Matador Gigant or Gigant by Noise Vault, Changelog 1.0.0.1 Changelog is fixing refreshing animation, fixed real animation, along with fixing display for cutters. Bailey Bell and Pallet Trader by Ross and Mods. Changelog 2.0.0.1. Changelog is fixed incorrect textures on Bell 18, fixed incorrect logo on Bell 18 sites, fixed real lights on Bell 18, added missing decals on Bell 16, and lastly added missing reflectors on Bell 16. Update for the Lizard VMB-4, 14 sorry, this is by Blendart, Cal Shashnik Jr. and AgroSketch, change log 1.2, add option to select auto load function, and lastly add configurations to warn elements so this is reflectors, warn tables and warning triangle. We got an update to the swap body with Telbalift, this is by Man Tai Bani, and added attachment for support for the rigid X2, X3 and TLX, Max Uplinder and TX Phoenix series etc. So this is like all the mods by like A2 Studio now and that is Changelog 1.0.1.0. Lizard A8 by Der Robbie 66 Hell Rivers by Ash Block Gaming, Changelog 1.0.0.1, add a field rail as configuration, smooth roll textures to be corrected, correction of the roller choice for the spiked roller, and lastly add a vibration to the reels. Changelog 2.1 for the ZSC implements pack by DD Mod Passion, and this is add support for the foil wraps, added new color configurations, and various minor functional fixes to the machines. And for our last update, we've got a small update to the old stream farm expansion by Black Sheep Modding. And yeah, simple changelog 1.0.0.1 removed the issues when zero euro missions were displayed in contracts, along with removing collisions of post stream fields 52 and 53. Now to get back on to our new mods for today. Anyways, we're starting off with the old chest pack. This is by Agrogatti, 12.5 megabytes to download, and this is a banger select section of sheds and that so you've got some open ones some like barn ones and that and then some like these little half timbered open ones so these ones here these three are three slots on console all the other sheds are four slots so we're gonna go from left to right so first of all you find these under build mode under sheds and yeah just go towards the end and there we go so yeah first of all we've got the old small shelter four slots goes down to one cost 6,000 and uh, hopefully you like red because there is no color options in that. Then we've got the old medium shed just over here. Then got the old, well sorry, the small old wooden garage. Got another version of that. Got a medium version. And then lastly a large. So that is 7.5, 9, 15, 80 grand respectively. Then yeah, you got these small little shelters in that. So got a small additional shelter for 2 grand. Got a slightly larger one for free grand, and yeah, another one there for free grand. And the difference is sort of is position of the wall, so that one's on our left hand side, and that one is on the right hand side. So, getting close up into detail of it, so I'm get rid of that help menu a sec. When you place it, if you just like normally place it, you do get these dirt textures, so just a little word of warning, but yeah. I do love this rusticness and that. Like the old wood, you know, it's stained, it's all dirty and that, it's all crud. That I absolutely love in that. And it's just like go inside and that, the corrugated roof and that, the metal sheets of roof and that. Absolutely love that. Open the help menu, so yeah, open your door to your garage barn. So yeah, it can fit a small tractor and that, the medium. Don't think you can really get a large tractor without using the large one over there, just because of the height of the roof and that. 
be a moon across. Put doors in that. So you can't open that once, so it only opens one side at a time, I'm guessing. So yeah, one side at a time. Not too shabby in that. Got something a bit more different in that, so a bit more of a metal door, this one, the medium one. And yeah, also you got your side door. That sound, that is absolutely beautiful. And yeah, going on to the large ones. Yep, size open. Obviously you don't have any lighting or anything like that. I've got the torch on that. Just to show off the details, you know, like the stone foundations and that, the rocks and that, apps. yeah, just little details like that. That's what, what brings the realism into the mods now, I think, personally. Then also your dish shelters, these can be if you use like bathing or bale stuff and that, bells, big bags, pallets and that, or yeah. Even a small tractor that you can fill underneath and that. Again, the world is your oyster and that, and yeah, you can put these two together if you want to. By just enable free placement, you know, get the these up ballers, not pillars, whatever you want to call them. Wooden pillars, I think. <laughs> yeah, just merge them together. And then, yeah, got a little rock, rock foundation again. But yeah, a crack of the mod pack. And yeah, very well made, very well detailed. Highly recommend this mod. But anyway, it's like the old chest pack by Agrogati. Next. Now for the wooden buildings, this is by Bartso MV3. 15.71 megabytes to download. And yeah, first of all, terms with slot counts, it is 23 slots for the bell and pad storage, 17 slots for the shed with the workshop, and then 37 slots for the chicken coop. So, chicken coop, 14 grand, holds 100 hens. Has an option for an open door net. So not one here, I think it's one of these over here. There we go, just went past it. There we go, so yeah, you got your little mini workshop in that. You know, back a toolbox by Schultz Mod in here, and you'll be off to the races with it. So, dollar box is here for your chickens. Here is your feed input, and then your eggs come out of here. Yeah, nothing around the back. But yeah, love to have the detail and the weathering. Moving across, and yeah, it says barn in that. Oh, sorry, that's the barn. Ah, right, yeah, see it. <laughs> yeah, minor sort of oof there in that. Yeah, I was like looking for the dollar box in that. Yeah, dollar box is just here for the workshop. Trigger is just here, so pull alongside here. Similar to the one here on No Man's Land in that. If you know, you know. But yeah, also, yeah, it just has a normal barn shed bay in that, so yeah, you can use this section as a barn, but also you've got a nice little workshop in that. Yeah, it's well built in, and that actually very nice in that, and they love the detailing. That is 15 grand. And then that's the go across here. We've got the barn that has the ability to hold 600 items. This is so sword cubes and pallets. But yeah, it's also got a removable divider in that, so I think if I can find that, which is just over here. Add and remove the partitions. Can I remove this one? No, by the looks of it. Now it's just your storage on the box is just here and that. But yeah, it was a bit of a pain getting some of these bells in and out. I thought grass and size bells. But yeah, so the trigger is like literally like just over here and that. So the bells have actually got to be loaded in that. I guess, yeah, I was like looking for, okay, some way to to open this end here because I unloaded the bells here. Couldn't get them in. As soon as I put them into here, not a problem. But yeah, so you yeah, got the partition there. Go and move that one. So yeah, you can have a nice little walkthrough put one. Nice little stuff there, and yeah, a little area here, you know, a little straw pen. And then, yeah, that partition can be removed and that can be removed. Just like these. So let's go and get a bell out. So see, a bell comes out there, and yeah, so, you know, try to figure out around. This is just a barn, however, for the bell to go in, yeah, you need to sort of go, like, semi over in that, so, yeah, if you're, like, massive auto-loading, like, what I've got here in that, 
Yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult now, but before I show it off, so... The chicken coop you can find under animals, so we'll go across to our animals and chickens. 40 grand, as I mentioned, 37 slots, goes down to 2 slots. So yeah, overall not too bad. Yeah, again, okay. no like, colour configurations or anything like that fancy stuff. But yeah, you go to your buildings and under to your shits. And you'll find these with the barn. So yeah, you've got the barn with the bell, bell and pad storage. And then yeah, you've got the shed and workshop. But yeah, the short show off, you know, you can't really put items in there. So I did find a little trick now, especially if you're using auto loading this. So you've got manual loading, then yeah, you start to doing it the normal way of doing things. But yeah, you know, just go across and then offload. And if we have a look. I can't really have a look, but yeah, we need to go around. And there we go. Six bells and that. And yeah, I just like how it all goes in together and that. No grab our TMR bell and that. Yeah, that goes in. Fine. Hey. Of course it will. That's our open TMR one. And yeah, it just all goes in. Not a problem. So, yeah, a little bit finicky now, you know, get the bells in and pants in, but. Rather than, you know, just have a drive through ball one that, something with an easy output. Yeah, it's better than power storage, but again, I think it's a bit of a sort of a small scale kind of thing, you know. Small scale farming that, small amount of bells and pallets. Just the 600 capacity is for like long term than that. Overall, not too bad. Quality more than that. Love the detail in that. But anyway, that is the wooden buildings by Barso MV3. Next. Now for the old workshop and horse packs, it's by TLS Modding, Eddie and Mewie. 50.8 megabytes download, so pretty hefty in that. But yeah, so this is a workshop holder to the left, a very massive and well detailed one. They also got here an old, you know, just an old rustic fuel depot in that. And yeah, this is East German style, it says on the mod description. I thought it was like a bit of a, that kind of that old German in that. But yeah, it's East German that. So terms with slot counts that the fuel depot is 16 slots, cost 15 15,500, daily maintenance of 10, and holds 15,000 litres of diesel. So yeah, there we go. Bam. And then you pull along here and pop your ankle, you can fill up and that. Pretty much fit anything here and that. And then yeah, moving across, you've got your workshop. And yeah, first of all, the D10 on the outside. Absolute beautiful and that. So, this is a massive workshop area. So, got one workshop area over here. Then you got your gates and that. Open the doors and that. Just all of that lovely good stuff. And then yeah, just move along down here. You've got these little barn storages and that. This section opens up to the workshop. Oh yeah, also yeah, I've got two lights. Lights on and off. But yeah, again, just it keeps on going that so yeah, in terms with what was I said sort count, 23 slots it is, and the yeah, entire section of storage now for your equipment. Again, yeah, you have a X9 combine in here, but again, it's not designed for that. Not everything's all about big, you know, shabam action and that. Just simple rustic stuff and that. Old ho combine harvesters and that. You know, old equipment. This would do you very good. Especially being East German that. So that older German, like kind of, is it Bavarian style I think? No, not Bavarian. Uh, I can't remember what part of East Germany this looks like. I know it's on top of my tongue, but... Oh, uh, I can't remember the top of my head. But anyways... Kraken mob pack and that, and yeah, first of all, you find these under containers and that. So, yeah, 15,500 for the fuel depot or depot, whatever you want to call it. And then the workshop and that is under tools. 55 grand, but again, get all that storage and that. And yeah, you can obviously change colors and that, obviously not. But at the end of the day, Kraken mob pack and that. 
another one that I recommend. It's got my seal of approval. And yeah, this is the old workshop horse pack by T.S. Martin, Eddie and Mui. Next. Going from old German to a bit of a more modern American kind of workshop. And now we got the Modern Medium Workshop. This is by Superfly1842. Awesome modder. Highly recommend this work. Feel free to check out his other mods. But anyway, so first of all, 90,000 to purchase, daily maintenance of 50 bucks a month. Terms with slot caps and that, it is only just 7 slots really? <laughs> 7 slots. Comes in, I think, what, 18 colours I noted down? Oh yeah, I thought go for a nice purple, rather than the hot pink for a change. I think actually this doesn't come in hot pink and that, but a nice purple does the job in that, so you'll find this under tools. And yeah, so as I mentioned, 18 colours, so you got your white, faint purple, dark purple, that uh, kind of, orangey, orangey, where you want to call it, dark olive green, cream, red, dark blue, black, beigey, white, grey, dark grey, dark brownish red, dark green, and yeah, just cycling through a whole lot of colours, but yep, yeah, no hot pink, unfortunately. Not today now, nah, but anyways, hot pink that is more just a mean for the mod reviews and that. But anyway, so cracking little error in that. So this is a four bay, yep, one, two, three, four bay. And yeah, you can repair any equipment, including X line combines and that. So I like the little German one we just looked at. This can hold like X line combines, the closest stuff and that. All beautiful stuff and that. So it comes with Automatic doors, interior lighting switch, automatic blinds, color choices, and also, my little favorite, toggle the roof net. So, have a, like a panora panoramic roof, if you think it. That is absolutely neat. Light switch that is just over here. Ooh. See, it lights on and off. But yeah, I think if I put the roof back on, there we go. Also, you got your two exits and that left and right, or right and left. I don't know how you want to look in the classify ends of that. Oh, yeah, also. Nice doors and that. Nice rolling doors. Very realistic and that. And yeah, it's all, you know, bang, it's straight up automatically. You know, it takes a time, but again, that is realistic to how these rolling doors work in real life now they don't just go bang but yeah it also says matches the shed mod of modern two car garage and the modern xl sheds but yeah as a standalone mod on its own cracking mod superfly 82 sorry <laughs> superfly 1842 you've done an amazing work once again if you're watching this and yeah the turf of the workshop area and that I forgot to mention that these little hazard mark areas this is where you can fit all your equipment and repair all of your equipment at once in this one shed and that. So if you want to store your equipment over here in the winter and that, you know, you know you want to repair it, bam. Repair it, all done. Lovely job thing. But anyways, that was the Modern Medium Workshop by Superfly1842. Next. Now for the production for seeds. This is by DD Mod Passion. 10.61 megabytes to download. This there is a required mod, and it is the seeds add-on by DD Mod Passion. So yeah, first of all, the seed add-on and that. So if you're not familiar with it, so to be fair, I don't really use these stuff much and that. But if you have a look and that, so you can put a normal seed bag in, Bob's your uncle, not a problem. But yeah, so you need to put either seed bag in or individual seed bags for the individual crop type. So in a way, it's a realistic way because you wouldn't just have a generic bag in real life. Say, oh yeah. I'll do a bit of soybeans here, a bit of wheat there. No, 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 no. This produces individual bags now because I think with seed add on you can purchase the individual bags if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can purchase these individual bags for £800 or so for a thousand years. Not too bad, not too shabby. However, now you can produce these bags yourself. So, I can see there is a lot of stuff there on the right. So, I think if you go into a section here, so ignore that, so I was just testing. 
and fill the things up a bit. So from here, you can put your input materials in, which is wheat, barley. So yeah, pretty much all your crop types now. Every crop type you can do, including the premium stuff in that. So things like your red beet, carrot, and parsnips you can do as well. Oh yeah, so in case okay, so I'll put one seed in, or one year of crop in, get one year of seed bag. But all these little plants that you can do. So you got a cereal factory and grain mill base game. But also you got a customized farm shop and grain elevator. All these are nice six grand. With the exception of the cereal factory, which is 110 grand. But yeah, you can just like, produce any kind of seeds you want. So I filled a lot of these up to the brim net with productions and that. So we have a look over here. So we'll see what your seed bags net. And yeah, unfortunately, we can't see how much they weigh on the right, but these weigh 600 kilograms each. I do have the liftable bags by use on. And yeah, these bags you cannot lift at all. So. These are soybeans here, but if you go around, I may have got other bags of other crop types, but you sort of get the gist of it in that, so no, soybeans, soybeans, soybeans. Okay, mistakes were made here, but also you can for all these get flour in that, so wheat, barley, oats, and sorghum flour. Very similar ratios in that and um, throughput in that, so nothing to shout over about, just you know, you've got a bit of extra wheat in that, make flour at the same time in that, so You'll find these under productions and that, so if go across, and you see what you mean, we've got like the base game, seal factory, and grain mill and that, so go across, there we go, so yeah, on terms with slot counts and that, let's get my notes up, so cereal factory is 17 slots, grain mill is 15 slots, the farm shop is 36 slots, but yeah, that is a huge building, so it makes sense, and then the great elevator, <laughs> Green elevator is 24 slots that so yeah all these do exactly the same you know same materials and that the only difference is slot counts and the aesthetic look to it so don't have to go to your factory so that one over there you can have any of these other ones for a nice six grand and jobs a good and so you have a look here yeah soybeans here and that so you can take your material out if you wish and that so Actually, if I go into a one of these sec, let me grab a trailer and just show you what you can take out. It's all right, yeah. Just go and go and grab our trailer net. So, feedback our trailer up first of all. So, I've got one of the seat add on stuff in that. So, but yeah, if you just back up, there we go. We are thin up. Is that from the bag itself? We're thin up, yes, it is thought we could have took a material out unless ah we mean actually so if I dump the tree there oh no dump the tree there go and grab this is there maybe you'll dispense from the bottom and that or is it just a aesthetic piece and that it's got the hazard mark here and that so Actually, if I just move that, and yeah, so for a reason, let me fill anything up in that. So, not sure why now, but again, it's sort of see, got more bags. So, yeah, got a wheat bag here, and yeah, just fill the wheat bag up. So, yeah. I'm not sure it's actually in that because I thought it was able to fill that up, but I guess not. So now that's filled up with wheat, so when we drill that, we have drill that. We can only put wheat in that, so pop up that. Yeah, it looks like seeds out, looks like normal seed in that, but I'm sure I get the gist of it in that. Awesome little mob pack in that. Yeah, it's probably DD more passion, but at the end of the day, I appreciate any mod that it's done in that. But anyway, so this is the production for seeds by DD Mod Passion. Next. Moving on to our equipment and that's now. So first we've got Defend GTA Platform, this is by Creative Mesh. 2.4 megabytes download and it's a little platform now that, that is specifically for Defend GTA 380, which is part of the FarmCon Fent Pack. So if I go to my mods and that, so yeah, if I go down a little bit. 
or back up yet. There we go. Farm Comp 24 Fin Pack. So, yeah, this is a cracking little mod pack. This is. If you haven't checked this out, then please, because it's a nice little, neat little mod pack. And that. So, you need this Defense 380 GTA Turbo. Term Swiss slot counts for that. That is a them slots on its own. But the platform itself only costs 3,000. Weighs, yeah, costs 3,000. Weighs 770 pounds. Has a capacity of 1,100 litres. Slot count is 2 goes down to 1. So, yeah, it got me. <laughs> I got this in the unloaded way, Nat. And, yeah, the lime in there is holding up. So, yeah, you'll find this under tools, under miscellaneous. There we go. And yeah, so you've got your bolt platform and your loading platform. So you can load bells and that on. Platform itself could be steel or like wooden panels. Colors got green, petrol blue, and orange. Same with the fence and that. So you hop into the fence. And yeah, email got line loaded up. With no issues with weights and that. Yeah, you got tip side front. Yeah, it says like tip side side, but it's like press it down once, it's not. Mm, makes sense that, but yeah, just dump it. And there you go, Bob's your uncle net. So yeah, overall, nice little cracking ball net. May not be for everyone that is very, again, it's, it is a bit of a niche mod, it is, in terms of. It application for it, what can be used with it's for one specific tractor and that, and which is a mod and that, so it's what it is and that, but the general concept, I do like in that, you know. If I just back up here a sec, turn the engine off. Hey, the work has been well done that, to be fair and that, so overall, cracking mod, and I do recommend this if you're using the Fent and that. But anyway, so it's the Fent GTA Platform Pack by Creative Mesh, next. Now for the CNH8 row corn header fully animated, this is by Joy Farms Modding, 6.82 megabytes to download. And yeah, this is a bit of a quirky mod, or at least one of you is a very quirky mod, looking at you New Holland, but that I'll get to in a sec, so it's a fully animated corn header net. Very realistic and yeah, very modern as well. So if you go into your tools net under corn headers and that so it's like very similar to think yeah to the the case four four oh eight and the nine eighty CR eight furry net. Yeah exactly yeah exactly the same as the space game one but just with more realistic animations realistic decal so for the case and that all these R eight slots goes down to one. Yeah the case that got the model year twenty fourteen to twenty twenty and then you got the more modern 2021 version. End road configuration, so you got your standard or end road augers. And then lastly you got your protected screen, got standard or none. So yeah, basically none or standard. And the main colour in that, that changes the centre tip of the head in that. So yeah, got grey, got your orange stripes, so when you're in the combine that, where you position in the field now, you know exactly where the centre of your head is and that. And go on to New Holland, it's got the end row configurations as always. And the protective screen. And the colour now, so not New Holland yellow, I had New Holland blue. Yeah, so it goes into that centre now, so... Hop into, oh yeah, I'm using the base game New Holland and case here. Get you hooked up in that. And wait a minute, that is. Is that wheat or is that corn? Yeah, it's corn now, I thought so. So yeah, go and yeah, help me you open this up. So you can unfold the header in that. I love these little animations and that. These are very neat in that. And then, yeah, L1, right stick, left to right. Oh no, that's the auger in that, so yeah, it's actually just the full animation. So yeah, you know I've got the grey tip on, so turn it on. And there we go, harvesting corn. Nothing to shout out about necessarily, just 
nice little mod in that. So yeah, some little changes in that, like these like animations and that. I do love like the full anime mods and that. When they work, they work very well. And I say that because New Holland, technically it works, but also doesn't work at the same time. Definitely not worker friendly in that, so. Speaking of which, hop into New Holland and that. We get a closer look up these, uh, of these and that. Nice now, again, I do like the look of it and that. However, get you hooked up in that. And I'm going to show you, so, open the help menu in that. Unfold the header in that, so again, boing, 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 and boing. So yeah, you're thinking, yeah, you're ready to go, you're ready to harvest your core in that. Lower it. And yeah, it says you need to unfold the header, so... Now, if I fold you back up... Again, I do not know why this happened. I guess in, in the coding of it, like... For what's work when it's folded, and then when it's not meant not to work when it is like this folded... Yeah, I think somewhere down the line the coding got a bit mixed up in that, so... Now, if we lower the header on that, or lift the header on that, see so yeah, it doesn't work when the header is raised, so semi-realistic, but you can see it's fully working that. You know, everything's all spinning that, just the... Yeah, the header's folded, but you sort of see your harvesting core. You're thinking, oh, this may not be a bad issue that. However, Oh, you're a worker in that. So yeah, it will unfold. And yeah, worker is absolutely stuck in mud. Yeah, it will lower in that, but yeah. Can't hire worker in that, it's like, it's getting confused in that. So yeah, this does need an update. It's a bit of a quirky mod in that, but, or quirky one for the new hot in that, but the idea of it, I do like in that, so this bit here does need an update, but overall a cracking mod in that. But anyway, this is the CNH8 Road Coordinator, fully made by Johnny Farmer's Modding, next. Now for the Lizard SNCP 108, this is by Muta Modding, 15.35 megabits of download, slot count is 7, goes down to 1 actually purchase it, and this is a 10 meter working width, 10 mile an hour working speed disc arrow. So yeah, there's a disc arrow, so you find these other tools and disc arrows. And yeah, this is a cracking bit of kit, and fortunately for me, this is coming just in time for my Rax to Riches series. So towards the end, 75 grand, 10 meters at 10 miles an hour, compared to what I would have gone with, something like the Kinsey Mac till that. That is very good now that you get, you know, the premium expansion stuff and that, that is a bit better and that 10 and a half meters versus 10.4 one mile an hour working speed over but of course another 30 horse 40, 30 horsepower not hertz power <laughs> and yeah weighs a bit less than that and overall i think this is going to be a better option for a lot of people for medium to large farms and even base game wise than that very similar to base game stuff and that but it's, yeah it's a bit cheaper and you also get <laughs> color configuration so a custom palette so i got the Red Chrome, there you go with Matt, Passion Fruit Yellow, I've never heard of that, Saffron Orange, Forest Green and that, get all sorts of different colours. Along with that, you got your decal stickers, so yes and no, just little stickers and that, warnings and that, all the way around. Advertise, you got BKT, Trailerbork Standard, or 460 by 15s. And yeah, and then back to BKTs. So yeah, without further ado, actually yeah, before we hop into it, take a closer look at it. Nice to look again, a very simple bit of kit in that. But it does a job in that. So yeah, let's go and back this baby up. And yeah, we get hooked on. And we'll take you to the field. So yeah, we've got a bit of a cotton field here, so go and unfold it. And also you can use this to create fields as well, so this acts like a plow as well, so So yeah, we are currently cultivating. And also you got that sort of uh, yeah, it plows and cultivates, you see well that plow there there, 
and then it cultivates it. So if we go into our map and that, so change to the soil and that. So yeah, that is a cultivated state, and yeah, you can create a field with it. So this is a banging bit of kit and that, you know, create fields, but cultivate as well. So you know, if we go around, create your field and that. I'm not sure if it's going to do this on our bug field over here. No. Again, I don't really know what happened to this field and that, but yeah, it's just gone like very buggy and that. So. It all does the job in that, so let's do a little bit of that. And yeah, it's just a plow, and then it's a culty plow. It is an amazing culty plow, and turn radius obviously helps the tractor in that, but it's got a long arm on it, so it's really it's easy to just turn around and maneuver in that. It actually turns on the dime, it does. That is oxy. I am very amused about I'm not amused, um very elated by that. And yeah, so you can get plant extra still if you go a bit too crazy, that's what I'm doing at the moment, but overall, a crack a bit of kit. This is what I need on my rag superstitious series and that. As we're expanding that farm out, getting the farm in the next episode and that, that should be out. Well, this should be out on Tuesday morning now, or like, early hours Tuesday morning. After this comes out, I'm going to go, well, before this comes out, after I'm done with this, get scheduled next. I'm going to go to bed, and in the morning, I'm going to be recording the next episode. Maybe stream it, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is what I need, and this is an amazing bit of equipment. I mean, top-notch, model of the day. Yeah, I know we've got the... Black series to look at in a bit at the end of the map tour, but this is a crack a bit of kit. So, if you want a mod of any of these mods we've got today, get this one. This is an awesome bit of kit. It's a Colty Plow Chef's Kiss, and that just absolute a banger of a mod. And that, but anyways, that was the this is SNCP 108 by Muto Modding, cracking mod. But let's go on to our next mod for today. Now for the class disco pack by Wolfnex Modding, 9.47 megawatts download. Don't get us confused with the class disco mod that we've got also available on Mod Hub and that. This is a disco pack and that, and yeah, it's a very simple small mowers and that. So the class one, so got the disco 2.4 there to the right, or 24 on the right, 28 there on the left, and in the middle 32, 2.4, 2.8, and 3.2 meters respectively. Slot count is for four, it's four or four of these. And yeah, you'll find this under tools, under mowers. There we go, under mowers. And go down towards the end. And yeah, so eight, 10, 12 grand respectively. Very easy now, you know, 50, 50, 50 horsepower requirement. So for a small model farm that, you know, 12 grand in that, that's absolutely a bargain in that, right? Especially compared to the base game stuff, eight, 10, 12 grand. Yeah, you're looking at something like that, a bit bigger than that, 18 grand. 12 grand for the front one and that, so... To be fair, you would need something in the middle of this, because... Yeah, if you want like a bit of a utilize your working with at least, I'll get like a front mower and that. Can't really think of one on top of my head to recommend. And yeah, just look at that, all the mods by Wolfex Modding. He's got this Sip Roto 220F, and yeah, I'm currently on the mod page for Wolfex Modding. And yeah, that's really the front mower he's got, but... Yeah, I know there's going to be guaranteed other class front mirrors out on the mod hub and that, I'm sure. But anyways, back on to the mod we're looking at today, the class disco pack. So, yeah, so let's go and get us hooked up in that to our tractor. So, can you mount it one ways? Yeah, that's hooked up, so let's have a bit of a closer look. Overall, this is a good mod in that. I do have some little niggles with this. This is a bit of a niggle in that. It's the... Yeah, once we get going, it's this. It's like it's got some weight. We're clipping with the flaps and that. Cause that's supposed to be like one piece, like is you know, in real life that'd be like one piece and that. But yeah, as we get to the fields, yeah, it looks like it's like a two-piece set. So what I'm showing me? So here we are. I'm gonna focus on the camera on here. Eventually we get going, that. Yeah, you can see it starts to ripple, that. 
got to sort of that rear clip you see there. Yeah, that's the, the, uh, it's just really off putting that here. It's like when I first noticed it, it is a bit of a stinker in that. And now that I've noticed it, I just can't unsee it, but let's see how it performs in the field. Things like that I can get over with as long as it performs well in the field. Yeah, you know, it goes well in that. 40 miles an hour. I like the sound to it as well. I'll have to check, is it four, yeah, 13, 40 miles an hour for all these and that. Yeah, it doesn't say work speed on the model of that, but yeah. That's, yeah, it says it features original mode of sound and that, so... That is a beautiful sound. I'm sorry, I'm like, sorry, like, a bit... Pools are a bit perplexed now, it's like absolute banger. Ignore all those up there and that's for uh, something else. I'll say that. Do I say about me I need to get a new mod map and that? Uh, yeah, this is one of the reasons for it and that. But yeah, it just does the job very well. You know, swaths in that, puts into a certain swath. Minor break field in that. It just does the job perfectly in that. Hey, it's indeed just a job, Ali. Like, the little break I had with the that and that, and when it's working out, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's just when you're moving it. Oh, so close to be a perfect mod. That, that, that turns off, oh, sorry, I was just like, that turn off sound. Wait a minute, I'll hear that again. Just listen to the sound of this. Okay, let's unfold it. That, it's that wind up, that wind up, dude. That is absolutely nice. Like, look underneath like, the animation of that. That is nice. I love it. Again, that little break again, the cosmetic thing. Apart from that, this is a cracking mod, is this? Now let's just hear it turn it off. <laughs> that is a beautiful sound, that is. So, yeah. 3.2, 2.8, and 2.4 meter working with now. So, yeah, it depends on the size of your farm you're using that, like what field you've got on that. Horsepower requirements, yeah. Weighs, well, sorry. Weighs 450, 500, and 550 gram, respectively. And I'm pretty sure I did say it's 50, yeah, 50 horsepower for all of these. So, 2.4 to 3.2. I ain't too bad. You know, Peric may have, you know, potentially something like this. May have a bit of overlap in that, but it's something in that. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to go back in that, because like, that horsepower, 82 for that alone. What about some of the other base game ones? You know, 40 horsepower for that. That's, I think that was suit well, potentially, in that. But yeah, anyways, cracking a little bit more on that. Apart from that little weird, like, Flappingness now, like that clipping again, another banger mod. Now, like, we've got two solid banger mods. I know, I know the words that banging mods, cracking mods is overused. I love it. I've overused it in that, and I've yeah, copied from another content creator who does it a lot, but we're used to it a lot, should I say. But I think, yeah, genuinely, like the cloths here, the disco one, and the Colty Power, we just looked that previously in the last segment. In that, again, another chest gifts is almost like. That's mod, 5 out of 5. This, 4.5 out of 5. So that little cosmetic thing, it is... Again, I've noticed it and I can't unsee it. <laughs> again, that's my autism in me. I over and overlook things, I over analyze it. And, yeah, it's just absolutely a cracking mod. I'm sure this will update by Wolflex Mod and that will solve that. But anyways, that is the Class Disco Pack by Wolflex Modding. Next, on to our final equipment for the day. We got the Lizard 2120 Evolution. This is a 125 centimeter beta. This is by Patagola Quirty PL and Dak Week 99. I do apologize if I pronounce that mod name wrong. On Dual Wood Woodek Woodek. I'm not sure. I do apologize. Six points every megabytes download. Slot count is seven. I think I looked at it. Yeah, no six. Sorry, six slots on console net. Very small, simple, high density beta in that. 45 horsepower is required. Working speed of 15 kilometers per hour, costs 20 grand, so 
Yeah, it's not the cheapest of beaters, and I know they've got like, the class rodents and that. And yeah, I doubt I'll have anything enabled here and that on my test map, but anyway, so yeah, go towards the end and that. Nine miles an hour, so a bit slower than compared to the quick quick bells stuff and that. And a little bit slower than your typical stuff and that, you'll see. But yeah, this is very suitable for like an old rustic farmer, and at the end of the day, this is a different era compared to the other beaters I just looked at. So yeah, if you've got a, you know, do of a vintage series now, I think this will be very suited for it. I know this is going to be based on the real brand, and I need to look, look that up a sec. So yeah, I just looked up, and it is, yeah, it's, I thought it was going to be a real life brand, and it's a Mascar 2120 beta in that, so not too bad, not too shabby in that, and thinking, yeah, it turns with the age of it. I can't really find too much information because it is just overwhelmed with mod hub stuff, third party dodgy mod hub sites and that, so I do apologise, I can not get really good specs on it, but anyways, back on to the mod itself. Six slots on console. So you've got your speed intro decal option, which is your only option, potentially. Besides from the colour, so you've got bottom, top corner, or none in terms of that speed limit decal. Colour, so yeah, you've got that older, like, brownish red. They got, yeah, your modern red snaps. I think red 2, red 3 is going to be my particular liking. I think I got red 2 on that, so. But yeah, without further ado, let's go and get this mass car beta on that, so. Get you hooked up. Love you, Jobby. I know this is overkill that for the class I'm using that. But yeah, overall, nice little setup in that. So have lights and that, your lights, indicators, lovely jubbly. So yeah, let's take us to the field and that. And I've got some like, some huge swaths here, so that's a little swath we just done mode and that, so just remind it's 125 centimeter bell, so it's gonna be the very small bell, so this is gonna be popping out very quickly in that, so how quickly does it unload? Ah, you got to unfold it manually in that. So, yeah, again, this is an older saw beta in that. So, yeah, close back in that. Oh, yeah, you got a little option of open the cover in that, so. If I detach that a sec, open the cover in that so you can actually see into. What's that? The filters in that? No, 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 just um, splines and that, you know, the twine that will hold the bells together and that. But yeah, overall, a nice bit of cracking kit. But yeah, it is very slow at unloading. And also, you have to do it yourself in that, so... It may put you off in that, again, it depends on what you're using it for now. For, like, a... F again, a small farm now, you know, starting from, like, zero in that, whatever. See, that's a bit of a cracking bit of kit that is, and yeah, just go through the options that. But yeah, overall, nice little solid mod on that, solid 4 out of 5 in that. I mean, they does the job in that, it says. May not be everyone's cup of tea in that, especially with how to manually unload in that. But any day, it's down to your own preferences. But anyways, this is the Lizard 2112 Evolution. Real life brand is the Mascar brand. And yeah, that is by Patologia, Quirty PL, and Dawidek or Widek 99. Next, on to our final model for the day, and it's the only vehicle we've got, and what a banger we've got! This is the ATR Series Black Pack or John Deere AR Series Black Pack. This is by Geo Mods, 54.53 megabytes to download. In terms with slot count, so we've got a John Deere ATR. So slot count for that is 21 slots. So that is this one here on the left with the two wheels. For the tracked one, this is the John Deere 8RT. And that is 19 slots, goes down to 1. And then that's it with the quad tracks and that. It's 24 slots and that is the 8RX. So different variations of the John Deere's and that. So the 8 horse that goes from 326 to 550 horsepower. And the 8RT, 8RT sorry. Goes from 357 to 450 horsepower. And then lastly, the 8RX, so very similar to the AR, 
go from 357 up to 549 horsepower. So very similar to the 8R, which is about the base 8R280 engine on it. But without further ado, that let's go into our large tractors where you'll find these beautiful babies in that. And yeah, got the black edition, which is always good to see in that. So got these three here. So the 8R starts at 285 grand. Goes up to around 371 and change. The 8RT goes from 343 up to 393 plus whatever you want to put on extras in that. So yeah, we'll go over that in a sec. And then that's in the more expensive Quadrac 8RX. Goes from 351 upwards to 400 and a half grand plus a thousand or two here and there over in that. So configurations is very similar to what you'll see normally on other John Deere mods than that. So yeah, you got your 280, 310, 340, 370, 410, and then your 410 chip for your 8R series. Well, brands is going to be exactly the same for all of these, so I ain't going to go over it too much than that, pretty much. It's got wheel weights, wheel weights 2, 3, so you go from... Oh, does it add weights to it such that just widens the axle it does? Yeah, just adds, yeah, just widens the axles it does, so it doesn't actually add weights. Twins, twins at the back, twins all the way around. Then you got, yeah, got the wider axles, the weights and that. Michelin, weights, very, again, very same. Continentals, and got the twins. Mitas, weights, narrows, exactly the same, just looked at. BKTs, again, very much the same in that. Verstein's. Yeah, exactly the same. And yeah, back to Treborg. Just look like that. Now, for your design, got your EU or EU and Hitch. So that adds a little dot or takes through that little dot from the front. But more importantly, at the rear. So yeah, you just got your normal Hitch or your three point linkage in that. So. Make sure you go with standard one. Then you got your US spec and US with the rear hitch. So yeah, if you go with that rear hitch, so that is a pin hook attacher. But actually, that doesn't cost anything. That that's actually nice to see now. So you know, just swap out your bits of equipment here and there and that. That is nice. That is free and that. Then you got your glass. So you got your standard, clear, average, dark. And back to standard. And then that's you got your configuration at the front, so you got your three points automatically. Then you've got your normal weight so that adds one point one tons. Front rate of sorry, front weight and grid grid model net. Front weight grid model two. See so yeah, actually I do like that and you know the kind of grills and that or grids and that to protect the engine net. And then yeah, back to your three points. Colour, you got your John Deere green or your black, so you can pretty much always black everything out. That green is the for just above the yellow John Deere logo in that, so select black, so that I like. The normal John Deere green and yellow, but that hint of black to it, that is actually nice. And then you got your room colour, basic colour palette, and then some cust few custom moulds, I think, by the looks of it. Actually, no, they're basically in the art. Do apologise on that. Licence plate, that's it. Then on to your 8RT. Yeah. So, yeah, you got your 310, 340, 370, and 410. Track, so, yeah, you got your 3 meter wides and standards. Front weight, so, you got 1800 kilograms, 1300, 800, 300, back to standards. Glass, exactly the same. Same with the EU design hitches that US with the rear hitches and that so just a little thing to do. Chassis colour, so you got your green or black, so that chooses everything. And again for that. Then ATRX, as I mentioned, 310, 340, 370, 410, 492 chip. Tracks and that, EU's and that, depends on what you want to go with, like the chunkier ones I do love, but obviously we're in the EU and that, so, or taking on the EU, but you know what I mean. Glass, yeah, same pretty much. And then, yeah, 
weights that is issued within 100 kilograms or the three points and that is it colors exactly the same as i've mentioned i'm not going to do the hill climb test because these do perform very well so hop into the atrt in that that i love lights indicators that so this is with the us spec in that And L1, sorry, L1, R1. Left on the left analog stick, does that with the doors. And that is it. Yeah, so that's the same with that. And then for the ESRX. Yep, yeah, exactly the same. I'm just going to take it for a little spin in that. Perfect sounding engine that, that I do love. But yeah, as well as like, the detail to the axles as well, like that is absolute beautiful amount of detail in that. There's something a bit more green that, so that can be seen in action. Yeah, there we go, the interact snap, the white track snap. But yeah, just that level of detail, like the poly count involved in this. Absolute beautiful. Of a kit now. Is it the model of the day? Personally, no. However, I do like a black series equipment, so that's just equipment that has that option to go all black. Uh, they stealth looks way now. That is absolute mm, beautiful now. But, anyways, that is all the mods for today. So, this was the John Deere 8 r Series Black Pack by GL Mods. Ah, uh, yeah, so again, it's going to come out late. Do apologize. A lot of it was down to set things up and that, and I realised how underutilised I have a lot of things, so... Yeah, I'm going to be working on a test map. I may stream like to do test map tomorrow and that, and you know, setting things up. Got a couple of ideas for maps and that, but at the moment it is very late now. It's just going to come out sometime early hours of Tuesday. But yeah, again, I'm back into mod reviews and that. I was going to do the other mods that dropped recently and that, but... Couple of days in that, and then, yeah, last week was a hectic week. In that I had a three day rally to do in that, and then, yeah, funeral that, and all that involved that took two days, three days in that. So it's been a long week for me in that. So I do apologize for the delay in mods reviews and that, and, and videos in general. I hate when I do this every when the mod review reason. I'm like apologizing, explain everything, but. It is what it is. I'm genuinely able to get front. Back into swing things now, that so let's get these mod reviews out more often, please. And anyways, as always, if you enjoy these mod reviews, if so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share it, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider but very cheers to do. Maybe nice day. But for now, it's me farmer Everwood Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.